Hey guys, today we're going to discuss about how to create a quadruped walking cycle. I used Auto Rig Pro for rigging it. If you want to know how I created the rigging system, just comment down below and I will show you how to rig a quadruped rigging system in Auto Rig Pro. I used 24 frames for this walking animation. I used 4 major poses and 3 breakdowns. I will explain everything to you how I did it in detail. First let's understand how a quadruped walks according to humans walking behavior. Let's first understand how everything moves and then we can move to the secondary animation and create animation for the ears, tails, and the head. When it comes to quadrupeds the main articulation joint is not the knee of the elbow. The principle however, is, the same. The body keeps going down after contact is made and overshoots up slightly after the legs pass each other. The smaller and therefore lighter the animal is, the smaller the delay in size of the down movement becomes, whereas in large animals like horses it becomes quite noticeable. The rear end works like a human walk on tiptoes with very long feet, but the basic mechanics remain the same. The reason why the mechanics for front and rear are so similar is because the joint between shoulder and upper arm mimics the function of the knee, the elbow mimics the heel, and the lower arm and hand acts like the foot and toe bones at the back. So now we have two halves, but how do they go together skinny and never really under the animal center of gravity in the correct version, the contact area is much larger and always supports the animal's weight. So when it comes to the poses. The keys for the cycle are, front left contact, rear right passing, front right passing, rear right contact, front right contact, rear left passing and front left passing, rear left contact. So we have major four poses as you can see them. When we see it in Blender it's going to be like this, with a constant curve. The fifth one it's a loop back of the first block animation. So now let's see the breakdowns. The breakdowns are then the four up and down positions. That makes eight drawings in total, and with a cycle for the goat being about 24 frames, you now have the unenviable task of in-betweening on the threes. So after creating the poses this is how our animation wood is going to look like. As you can see it everything is moving correctly, but there is no any secondary animation. Secondary animation is any additional animation that emphasizes the main action to create more dimension or personify a character. So now we have to do is create secondary animation. First we just have to create for the head. With the body it needs to be moved a little to create a follow-through animation. Follow-through refers to a short moment after the main action. It is the idea that body parts of characters or elements of animated objects might continue to move even after a motion is completed. Then we create a follow-through animation for the ears. Then we can create a secondary animation for the tail after that. Or the whole animation would look great because after creating the primary animation, the most important thing that increased the depth for our animation is the secondary animations like the head, the tail, and the ears. After that we can create a progressive walk cycle. If you want to know how to create a progressive walk cycle, comment down below. Or it can be for a biped also. After all, I'm sure you've gotten something useful out of this first animation video. If you like what I did for you, just subscribe for my channel. Thank you very much. See you on the next one.